Hey y'all! A letter has been sent to me a couple times today. I just uh, got around to checking my email. It's been crazy trying to read lawsuits and other things happening soon to hear about. Uh, but uh, a couple of congressmen have sent a letter to Stephen Dettelbach about their comments submitted for, or actually against, the proposed rule change, which would make us all be forced to beg for government licenses to sell our own firearms, and also the back-end registry part of it. I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna show it to you, but I, I still wanna draw your attention to this shirt. Guys and gals, we need to get back to controlling our country and who represents us, because the people in office, a vast majority of them do not represent us, our will, our constitution, or our Bill of Rights. How much longer will we stay quiet? This is the letter on the screen that was sent to Stephen Dettelbach opposing his proposed rule of engaged in the business. It says, we respectfully submit these comments in opposition to a notice of proposed rulemaking NPRM 22R17, the definition of engaged in the business as a dealer in firearms, which proposes to amend the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms regulations to implement the provisions of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, enacted on June 25 of 2022. Remember, Republicans sold out the Constitution to pass that bill. As members of the U.S. House of Representatives, we write to express our strong objections to the proposed rules. The ATF is using the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act to substantially revise all regulations governing who and what constitutes a dealer and how such dealers may conduct business. This proposal advances a radical left-wing agenda that will undermine the Second Amendment and the constitutional rights of all Americans. The proposed rule changes the definition of dealer by revising the definition of engaged in the business, adding a definition of personal collection, personal collection of firearms, or personal firearms collection, adding a definition of predominantly earn a profit, revising the definition of principal objective of livelihood and profit by changing the current definition of terrorism into its own definition without modifying any of the old language, adding a definition of responsible person and adding a freestanding definition of terrorism. This proposed rule is even more radical than the progressive gun groups were lobbying for. Previously, the left has urged ATF to set an arbitrary cap on firearm sales by unlicensed persons. A sale of five or more firearms in a year meant the seller was a dealer. The new rule will require any dealer to obtain a license and run a background check before completing an exchange of a firearm, even if that check takes place between two law-abiding citizens. This creates serious obstacles to the currently legal exchange of firearms. If enacted, the result will be a significant increase in burdensome paperwork and more unnecessary background checks run for what was previously a lawful transaction. Additionally, current law permits former dealers to sell leftover inventory in compliance with local law. The proposed rule seeks to regulate the sale of leftover inventory after a person gives up their dealer license or has their license taken away, even though the law states that dealers can sell personally owned firearms if at least a year has passed since the firearm went from business inventory to personal inventory. The Second Amendment is vital to the safety and security of this country and its citizens. Yet, time and time again, the ATF and the Biden administration have sought to undermine this right. The notice of proposed rulemaking is nothing more than an attempt to undermine Second Amendment rights, implement universal background checks and gun registration that will ultimately result in diminished access to firearms for law-abiding gun owners. We urge you to withdraw this notice of proposed rulemaking immediately. Signed, the following members of Congress. So I'll start out on the good side here. I'm glad that finally, finally, uh, some people in Congress are pushing back. However, there's only a handful here. There should be 
several hundred more of them as well on this letter. My other question is for those few members of Congress, whether they're in the House or members in the Senate, those few who support the Second Amendment or say they support the Second Amendment, do something about it. We the people, while we are grateful that there are some that will you know, put their name on paper and submit it and put their name on the line, uh, we the people are sick and tired of every time there's an election cycle, people come out of the woodwork and say, vote for me, I am for the Second Amendment. All too often, there's that silent dot, 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 but. We want some action. If I'm wrong, guys and gals, tell me I'm wrong in the co comment section down below. And if I'm right, tell me I'm right down below as well. Check out this shirt. I love it. We need to push back. Make tar and feathers great again. Shirt link down below. See you all in the next one. Be safe. Stay vigilant. Carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. You never know when you're going to need it. I don't care if the ATF or Joe Biden or anybody else, any of the commie mommies or weak ass David Hogg, don't care. It's not up to them. Ah, do something about it. Take care.